Fenriel is down there. Fenriel, it's only me and Anders now. I'm not sure if this is real. If so, it is the second time I owe you my life. The fade feels different now. I see the stitches, the seams holding it together. I feel I could wake at any moment. Dreamers control the fade, and the dreams of people in it. I see why the Chantry fears us. I've heard tales of Magisters who stalk their enemies and use their own dreams to destroy them. You're right. I must master it. Find someone to study under. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. My mother would not look kindly on such a journey. Can you give her my farewell? May the Maker guide your path, Fainril. Perhaps there is a way out of this. I can do this. Fainril has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. I must find him before he goes. I truly did not think what you did was possible. You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainreel. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. Probably a book of skills. The Tome of the Slumbering Slumbers. I think it is. No. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and now there's an apology here. Meryl. Let's go to her house. Are you happy? Beg your pardon? Because she seems happy. Hawk, I mean. You are, aren't you? Yes. I suppose I am. Good. You've spent much too much time being grumpy. It's a nice change. Much too much time. Let's also look at her. Yeah, she's pretty grumpy with me. It's Meryl's just... Yeah, she's she's not having any of my crap. Left click is not what I need. Right click. I I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. You didn't betray me. The demon made you do it. I should have recognized I was being manipulated. I didn't help either. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? She just said she doesn't know. It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just had to. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic, I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. 
I'll make sure of that. I believe maybe she doesn't like me too much because I keep... I keep uh, being jokey-jokey with her. And that's why that happens. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go to the ang hanged man over here. Isabella. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh. You have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. Meryl just goes away. We need to talk. Ugh. Oh. Bugger. I knew this was coming. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. I was trying to, but it, I don't think it is, actually. I didn't check her reaction to me. <laughs> I don't have to try. <laughs> I don't think that's what my character is going to say. You mean you weren't ready to jump into bed before? That is a better line. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good point. <sighs> I'm far too predictable. Yeah. I don't, I don't think... I don't think there's going to be any betting taking place. Sir Roderick? Wait, what? How'd frame a Templar? Uh, who, who are you? I'm here to report Sir Conrad. I know him. Did he do... something? Or something? One moment. Are you well? Oh, it's just the... you know, it's hard to think sometimes. But I will do my duty. If you've seen something, um, suspicious, let me know. Sir Conrad caught some apostates. They offered him coin to let them go, and he took it. Sir Conrad? Are you sure? I'm afraid so. This needs to be reported. I can't believe it. The Templars now suspect Sir Conrad's Vernhardt of a variety of incriminating activities. Seek out Mr. Selby. Of course, I will. Uh, and then the herbalists ask... Oh, that's... Actually, let's do that right now, right away, because it's actually pretty close. Let me get Aveline back. Eh, maybe, maybe not get, let, get Aveline back while I'm doing this. Because she might not like it. Are you all right? I nearly killed an innocent girl. How could I be all right? I'm sorry. You're sorry? For me? This could be you. You could be the next monster threatening helpless girls. Anders, there's no such thing as a good spirit. There never was. All spirits are dangerous. I understood that. I'm sorry that you didn't. Hmm. Throwing some shade there, but... Either way. Hey. Kirkwall's a dangerous place for our friends, but you've made their lot easier. Several of them put their coin together to get you this. Uh, uh, one coin. I got one coin. That is that is what I got. Oh! Sir Conrad was fighting with another Templar. So, uh, then Sir Roderick came in, laying accusations against Sir, uh, Sir Conrad. The Templars were in an uproar. In the middle of the chaos, a dock worker came up and said, Calm as you please. You, Sir Conrad, got a shipment of raw lyrium for you. Sign here. It took all my resolve not to burst into laughter. Needless to say, Sir Conrad was whiskered, uh, whisked away and hasn't been seen since. I don't know how you did it, Hawk, but you saved a lot of apostates. Yeah, I did that. Did that, didn't I? Um, 
I got... Didn't I... Oh, yeah, that's just the end of the quest. Oh, interesting. It shows up over there as well. Okay. Uh, well, let's do friendly concern. Talk to Varric. In Low Town. Shouldn't he be in the pub? Yeah. Hang the men. Because it's it's You could get another cat, you know. There's one in the low town market with a litter of kittens ready to wean. You don't pay attention to Templars, Kunari, or politics, but you notice kittens. Templars, Quinari, and politics don't meow and attack your feet when you're buying food. Are there any tabbies? I'd like a tabby. That's... Can I keep the black one? Z? Or all of them? Varric. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. You and, uh, what's-his-name, that mage, seem to be getting pretty close. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. It's the chest hair, isn't it? Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. Ah, uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Maybe, just maybe, getting involved with the possessed mage might be dangerous. There, I've said my piece. I know you mean well, Varric. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I certainly hope so. You've been nursing that empty mug for hours. Get another drink or get out. Well, that was a pretty straightforward uh, thing with uh, Varric, wasn't it? This is the best tavern in Kirkwall. It could use some cute dwarven serving girls, but otherwise, it's perfect. Hmm, every place could use some cute dwarven... Well, not necessarily serving girls, but uh, that's done. Okay, so I will get rid of Anders, and I will bring... Uh, I'll bring Avalyn. What I was trying to look at is uh, their relationship with me, but it's uh, I, it seems like only the characters that cannot be romanced are the characters that I actually have a good relationship with. Good job, Colonel. Good job. It's probably, this is this is the sort of stuff that on a second playthrough I would just mod the game to say max out all the relationships of all the characters. Just it. Just there's probably a mod for that. Just everybody starts with maximum relationship, uh, or maximum one side or maximum the other. But. Either way. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing side quests. Not that one. That one's bad. Prime suspect. Speak to Emmerich in the gallows. Sure. Is that the one where we need to go and talk to the chief of the Templars? Hello, Emmerich. Aveline says you need my help again. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuis. Dupuis? That's a funny name. It's Olesian. I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. 
The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Fine, if you insist. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He's a vampire. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence? It sounds exactly like a coincidence. Gascard Dupuis is hiding something. I'm convinced of it. It is a coincidence, for sure. But is it just a coincidence? That's the real question. It is a coincidence, you idiot. Do you not know what coincidence means? But it's okay. I make that mistake every once in a while as well. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. No, no, it is not, actually. It's really complicated, in fact. Because proving a negative is a... Well, it's... it's uh, it's, It could be impossible. It could very well be impossible. Like, for example, if you came into my house trying to find evidence that I have not killed millions of people, you are not going to find that evidence. Not in my house. It's not here. There's no evidence that I have not killed millions of people. And I'm talking I'm not talking in the game. I'm talking in, in real life. You wouldn't you wouldn't find that evidence. You could find evidence that I have killed millions of people. If I had killed millions of people, which I haven't to my knowledge. But you, th th that's that's what I'm saying. It's it's proving a negative. I mean, you'd be proving a positive if Either way, let's let's see what this is. Fenris's mansion. It's right next to this. Huh. Hmm. A thank you note. Also demons. But a thank you note. Okay, let's do the speed. Cause. Uh, hmm. Let me try to freeze these two. Did not work. Oh, no, it actually did. This one had to uh, just resist a, li a little. Okay, don't move. Why are you moving? Seriously, I I'm controlling you. Why did you stop moving? Okay, let's try this. She's taking quite a lot of damage. That is a bad thing. Let's try to stun these people and I'm gonna run away oh they're all after her and so the kiting the kiting commences and all I do is go around while looking at the health bars of my characters it is weird isn't it uh there's a rage demon here. Rage demon doesn't seem too interested in in what is about to happen or uh, in what is happening. It's not going after Meryl. Okay, they get both both of them get frozen. I think this is a good. Oh, one of them, the one that was pursuing Meryl, died or went invisible. Okay. I don't think the guards raiding the estate met that particular reception. You think so? Hmm. That's the, the logo of Dark Soul uh, of uh, Dragon Age Two, and the camera cut to a logo like that before, in a completely different quest. It was 
really awkward when he did it. But he definitely did it. And I didn't know what to think of it. Still don't. Hmm. Hey, fellas. Okay. Let's do this. Backstabs for the win. And there's a lot of enemies over there. I do... Wait. We did it? By the way, I didn't read the, t the thank you note, did I? Gaskar. Thank you kindly for your last shipment. It arrived in almost perfect condition. The requested payment is on its way. Please use the artifact with care. The creatures can be difficult to control, even for an experienced mage. A pleasure doing business, your friend. Looks like gaskar has been busy. That is a conclusion. I would say we now know where these demons came from. Messer Dupuis. Dupuis? Yeah, maybe. This is in regards to your inquiry into missing mages. I would like to remind you that the duty of seeking out missing mages, if there were any to begin with, would fall to the Templars of Starkhaven, not a minor nobleman from Kirkwall. I would also like to take this opportunity to remind you that the Circle of Magi as a whole does not welcome casual inquiries about the mages in its care. Thank you, First Enchanter Radic. Why would Gasgard be inquiring about escaped mages from Starkhaven? Because of demons. Most likely. Demons. Most likely demons. Well, we only have one way forward. It's this. Seems like we continue to only have one way forward. That is a lie. What a lovely room. Superior dagger. It is, indeed, superior. Unfortunately, it requires tremendous amounts of dexterity that I have neglected. And we also have vials of blood. I think these have been used in blood magic. Or... Yes, I suppose. Well, maybe order the stew. Could be. I don't... It's kind of far away from the kitchen. I was going to say we're outside. We're not. This is a cool place. Meredith's Apology. Meredith is the, the leader of the Templars. Monsieur de Puy, please accept my humble apologies for recent events. The Templar, Emmerich, has been reprimanded for his wrongful accusations and for arousing suspicions within the city guard that led to the raid of your estate. I will see that he is restrained in future. Sincerely yours, Knight Commander Meredith. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. De hmm? What does that mean? I mean, I know what it means. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Uh, the grease means that if you don't complain, you don't get what you need or what you want. Like you may be in need of something, but if you don't speak up, you don't get it. It's kind of like a early bird gets the worm in the format, at least, but more so than more instead of, you know, waking up early and doing things sooner rather than later. It's more about actually speaking up, but it's the same thing. Perhaps these belong to a family member. Clothes. I mean. Help me. Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. Let her go, and we can talk. If I let her go, you'll kill me. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... Just let me explain. You don't have to be afraid. I'll hear what you have to say. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. 
Alessa was going to be next. I took her so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. I don't... Am I missing something? How does he know the killer is a him? First off. How does he know I'm not the killer? He's the killer, isn't he? I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish little shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. He'll want to know what happened here. Tell him whatever you like. I'll be long gone by then. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. I'm sorry, but it doesn't add up. I can't let you go. No. I've worked too hard. It can't end like this. No, it will. Also, you're... No. Yeah, there's just... No. Um... Yeah, there's... Just... No. Not happening. I... This... This smells super fishy. And, uh, I do not understand why he had that woman... Like, it doesn't... Why? Either way, it's fine. He's... He, nobody's gonna miss him. He's just... He's making demons, and he's rich, so who cares? So, let's do some of this, and then... I'm gonna need a taunt. I'm gonna need a, uh... This... And then a health for everyone. There you go. And then speed for everyone. Lovely. Rotate the camera a little. It does not help that right click is the thing you would do to rotate the camera. But at the same time, it is the thing you do to attack things. You sort of get used to it, but it's not an ideal, an ideal setup. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and that's perfect. And now I should be able to ri rain some fire down upon on you. And a little bit of lightning as well. Got you frozen. No, no, I didn't. It's done. And none of my companions disliked that, which is the best thing. It's the only morality I need, really. Whether my companions dislike it.